Hello everybody, it is Monday <coughs> and I'm coughing. Still ill in case you can't tell. It's Monday. I'm looking pretty uh, shiny and gross because it's the end of a long day. It's four o'clock. I've just got in from work. I've got some parcels to pack up and post. Um, and then the bunnies have got their final post-op check. We were supposed to go yesterday, but I cancelled because my parents were having a barbecue and I've rescheduled for today. So I've got that at half past five. I need to go to the post office. I need to have something to eat. Um, yeah. What else for a Monday? Whilst I was at Planacon on Saturday, I bought a few bits and pieces. I fancied a change with my creative journal. I fancied a different colour. Um, I stuck with the same size, obviously, because that's what all my inserts are. But I filmed a video of me setting up this planner, basically. It's the Lilac Suede Webster's Pages Standard Size Traveller's Notebook. I absolutely love it. The charm is from Stitch and Weave and this little one here, the gem one, is from Daisy, her shop Cloudy Cow. And I've got some bunny vellum in there. I just love it. Um, but yeah, I filmed a video of myself setting this up. So that will probably be the next video that you see after this weekly vlog. Um, although, actually, if I already have a vlog to upload before this one, the setup video of this will probably already be up, so I'll link it in the description for you if you want to have a look. Good morning everyone, it is Tuesday. Um, I can't remember if I said last night or not, but the bunnies were officially signed off from the vets and their operation sites look great, um, their weights are really good, they're looking really great, so yeah, they've been officially signed off, which is good. I don't need to load up those giant carriers into my car anymore. Touch wood. <laughs> um, yeah, today is a bit of an interesting one because Archie and I are going to our first agility class. I don't think Archie is going to do it at all. Um, but we'll see how he goes. He might surprise me, but he's terrified of anything new so I'm trying to build his confidence by doing like a fun activity but I'm not sure if he's going to do it we'll see I'm looking very windswept because <laughs> we just got a bit rained on at agility this little man did so good did you do so good? Yes, he did. He did much better than I expected. He wasn't afraid of any of the equipment at all. He did, however, not like the other dogs. Um, he doesn't really like being on a lead around other dogs. Um, I think he feels like he can't get away from them. So he does tend to snap a little bit. Um, but other than that, he was a good boy. He was really excited. He definitely loved it way more than I thought he would. So we will be going back. Um, and I know once he's used to it and he has time to settle, he'll be fine with the other dogs as well, because he always is. So um, yeah, really pleased that I went. I think it's going to be a fun new hobby for him and I. And uh, Winnie was by herself for the first time ever. <laughs> Winnie does not get left by herself. I think she was quite upset, but when I came back, she was asleep. So that's very good. Um, and a good step in the right direction for both doggies. Hey! <laughs> hey guys, it is three o'clock on Wednesday and I really should be cleaning, but instead I came home from work, went out for coffee with my mum, my nan and my auntie, and now I'm going back over to my mum's because she's got some stuff she wants to show me. She bought some new furniture and some new clothes and she wants to show me, but when I came home, my new Neodori was here. Now I know it seems like I'm always buying stuff, I'm genuinely really not, but my student loan came in so I'm not skint anymore. And when I came home from Planacon, I ordered a limited edition, beautiful, hot pink Neodori. So these are not available um, anymore. She literally had two of them available in a special limited edition sale, but it's a pebbled leather. It's got an extra wide spine, it's in B6. I've got uh, sticker samples and spare elastics and it came in a pink bag oh my gosh my other bags have been black um look at this and considering it's come all the way from um tunis which is africa 
I ordered it on Saturday night and it's here on Wednesday. Look at it. It's got baby pink elastics, which I honestly couldn't have chosen a better colour. This is the inside. She's changed the back pocket to be rounded. Oh my gosh, I'm taking it over to my mum's now so I can fill it up. Hey guys, so I haven't spoken to you the last couple of days. It's not really anything intentional. Sorry, you can hear Winnie crying. She does not like it when the car stops. Um, yeah, it's nothing intentional. I just have been really busy but like not really in the mood to film look at my fringe oh my gosh um today we are off hi today we are off to um a place near us it's like a woodland trail we're thinking it's going to be a bit of a disaster because of the weather uh it's not very nice and the dogs are already a bit fed up aren't you but we've stopped for petrol um yeah i feel really out of it <laughs> filming <laughs> but um yeah, I will speak to you in a bit. guys excuse how scruffy i look it's actually now four o'clock and we are home we had a really nice walk but my boyfriend got us completely lost and we came out um of the woods onto this main road and we were about an hour's walk away from where we needed to be so this really kind lady actually drove us back to our car because we told her where we needed to go and she was like you are far away like your little dogs are not going to be able to manage <laughs> walking all the way back so I will drive you so this lady had to drive us back to our car which was so kind of her but oh my god what a nightmare but anyway we we did have a really lovely walk um I am looking a bit rough and tired now I am very sleepy my whole body hurts we managed to do ten and a half thousand steps <laughs> with our walk and I yesterday did my first workout since I got really poorly a couple of weeks ago and I started the 30 day squat challenge so my legs are killing me and I still haven't done day two um the dogs have both had a bath and we came home and made bacon sandwiches and stuff and I'm already thinking about dinner I'm hungry all the time because I'm like trying to eat healthier at the moment bacon sandwiches aren't exactly healthy but it was like healthy living bacon and weight washers bread <laughs> but like I'm already thinking about dinner because I'm just hungry all the time um but yes i don't really know what the point of this was it's just to update you good morning everyone it's sunday uh we had a lovely day yesterday in the end and today we are off to barking bonanza in southampton so it's a little bit of a drive but we're going to go down there i found out this morning one of my friends is going jamie with her dog and i think her boyfriend as well so yeah we're gonna have a mosey on down there and see what it's like i think there's a fun dog show as well but because i'm by myself with the two of them i won't enter either of them in probably um but yeah so i've just stopped off to get some money for parking and off we go These little monkeys have been on their best behaviour today. We've had a bit of barking from Winnie, but Archie, you have been a superstar. And Winnie, you have been a good girl too. You're a good boy, Archie. We even sat in a cafe and you didn't bark. Good boy. Hello, everyone. It's Monday lunchtime. Normally, if I speak to you at this time on a Monday, I'm at work. But this week, 
my days have been swapped around um, and instead of doing a full day today I'm doing my full day on Thursday because we have a full day of training so that means I'm home at lunchtime on Monday which is nice the dogs are happy that I am home um, I'm feeling a bit blur which is probably why I look like this um, and why I haven't really filmed face to face much for the last week um, I hope you don't mind that, I'm sure you don't. Um, I'm probably going to lump these vlogs together again. I know some of you don't like it, but some of you do, and it makes it easier for me, so that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm going to have some lunch now, and then I think I'm going to head over to my mum's, because I've got some stuff to take to her, and she's got some stuff to give to me. So, um, I have a jumpsuit of hers, which I've had since the beginning of the month. I need to give it back. <laughs> and I have a parcel to collect, and she lives right by the depot as well, so... Um, yeah, gonna do that. Hello everyone, it's Tuesday and I'm not sure what time it is, just past one o'clock I think. Um, I've just got back from work, had some lunch, walked the dogs and now I'm gonna take Archie off to Agility. Well, it rained while we were at Agility and somebody got soaked. And so did I, my fringe. <sighs> but Archie did so good this week. Um, he was much, much better with the other dogs. He was so brave with all of the equipment. He was a dream, so I'm really proud of him. Hmm. Well, this looks lovely. Nice bit of pouring rain and wind for a Wednesday. So this is going to sound absolutely ridiculous, but I'm literally locked in my house. My key, for some reason, is not working, not turning. I can't see keys on the outside, so I don't think my boyfriend's left his keys in the door. But for whatever reason, my key's not working. So not 100% sure what I'm going to do right now. So I kid you not, I am locked in the house. <sighs> I've been stood there jiggling the key for like 10 minutes. It will not work. I am locked in the house. So my boyfriend has now had to turn around and come back from work. And he <laughs> he works a good 25 minutes away. And he's having to come back to let me out. And yeah, my key will not work. My hands are red raw from trying to... Um, open the door it's just not working I've called my mum and had a good laugh about it I've called the school and told them I'm gonna be late in because I'm locked in the house literally you just can't make this stuff up honestly so in case you're wondering I did manage to get out of my house this morning and I went to work Um, I came home from work about an hour ago and had some lunch and now the rain has stopped it's been torrential rain all day and it's finally stopped so I'm just taking the dogs around the block I wanted to take them to the Bluebell Woods to get some pictures but it is so wet and muddy that I don't think today is a good day to do it so Good afternoon, it has just gone past 12 o'clock. It's Thursday today and I actually had an unexpected day off today. Uh, the school that I work at is being used as a polling station and we did have training planned in a neighbouring city but due to unforeseen circumstances that then got cancelled at the last minute as well. So we, we were given the day off because we couldn't go into school and there wasn't any training for us to go to, it got cancelled. So we had an unexpected day off which is actually really great for me because I go to Sweden in the early hours of Saturday morning. So I have today and tomorrow to get everything sorted out and get the house all sorted before I go. And that would have been fine, I would have done it, but it's obviously super handy to have this day off. So this morning I relaxed a little bit, wrote like a plan of action for the day and then spent the morning doing a big deep clean of the bunny shed. Um, so that they're really nice and clean because my boyfriend's going to have to look after them for me for the weekend whilst I'm in Sweden. So they are all spotlessly clean now. Um, and then I got ready, 
and I'm going into town because I have a list of things to buy. I don't normally spend money on like travel sized toiletries and things when I go away but I'm only taking hand luggage for this trip so there's a few travel sized things that I want to get. I want to get some painkillers to take with me just in case because my Crohn's has been a bit iffy the last couple of weeks and um, yeah just a few bits and bobs. I've got some returns to do. It's all happening. Oh and I want to get my nails redone. So yeah. So I am home from town, managed to get everything done in two hours which is really good so I'm just waiting for the dog's food to arrive now, could arrive anytime in the next hour so I'm hoping it'll be quick though so that we can head over to the woods but I thought I would show you what I came home to and what I bought. First of all Winnie was sent a ton of stuff from Frontline Pet Care, you've probably heard of Frontline um, but we got a ton of different shampoos which you can see here and we got an eye cleaner which will probably be great for Archie and then this skincare gel I'm gonna have a go with that for Winnie because she has super sensitive skin and the sensitive shampoo will probably help too and I came home to a parcel from my friend Geraldine with two adorable bows in um, at Planicon I bought a Lilac Webster's Pages which you probably will have seen and I didn't have anything to go with it because it's purple and you don't find many purple craft supplies um, but I bought a bow from my friend Jenny at Stitch and Weave and Geraldine has sent me some more so that I have some choices how pretty are they the pink bow that I have on all of my planners is by Geraldine as well and she told me today that she's got a whole box of them um, waiting to be listed so she should have some available very soon there you go there's her business there it's so pretty and these will look so nice on my saddle brown as well oh and also I got my nails redone ready for my holiday so we wanted to hunt for some bluebells today but um, the bluebell woods that I know of you have to drive there and then it's a long walk to get to the woods so I decided to just come to our normal woods instead for a little stroll and maybe some photos but there's no bluebells here I don't think but it's a beautiful afternoon so I didn't want to waste it Grumpy, Are you grumpy Winnie. Archie is sniffing and peeing and everything as per usual. I've got my flowery trousers on with my wellies. Such a great combo. It was too warm for leggings or jeans or anything, but <laughs> I couldn't not wear wellies. As you can see, certain parts of the woods are still super muddy. It's so nice to see Archie off the lead so much more. He's being a good boy. I hope I haven't just jinxed it. But he's being a good boy. Yeah. Are you going to run? pop Archie back on the lead when we get to the last bend in the trail because this tends to be quite a high traffic area and um, when we came around the corner there was a big family loads of kids playing so it's definitely the right decision to pop him back on the lead um, whilst we're in sort of like the entrance and exit of the woods because it tends to be where the most people are but Archie has done such a good job like I'm so happy with the fact that I can walk him off the lead now it's just it makes such a difference and um, it's a shame Winnie can't be off but <laughs> she'll live she doesn't mind she likes to just potter anyway but yeah oh this is a steep slope hi guys First of all, yes, I'm very sunburned. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, so I believe the last time you saw me was last Thursday. So before this vlog continues, you need a bit of background 
information. I've propped you up on my iPad because it's just easier than holding my arm out. Um, so basically, last Thursday was, I think, the last time I was filming. And unfortunately, Archie ended up being rushed to the vet after the walk that we went on. I'm not going to go into it now because it's just details that's going to make the vlog even longer. And it's not really important now, but he's absolutely fine. Um, but he ended up being rushed to the vet and it really stressed me out, obviously. So I basically stopped filming um, on the Thursday. And then Friday, I was rushing about getting everything um, ready to go away on the Saturday. And Archie also had a follow-up vet appointment to go to. So um, I just didn't, I didn't really film. Um, I don't think I filmed anything at all because I was just so busy. Um, and then in the early hours of Saturday morning, myself and seven of my friends went to Gothenburg in Sweden. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll be seeing that I've posted a ton of photos. Um, but yeah, we went to Gothenburg in Sweden. It was absolutely beautiful. If you get the chance to go, you really should. It's amazing and there's so much to do the food is amazing it's a really underrated city everyone tends to go to stockholm because it's the capital of sweden but seriously go to gothenburg it's amazing and it's like not full of tourists we were a group of eight and we didn't have to like queue or wait for anything so yeah we went to gothenburg so that is the footage that you're going to see now Cinnamon buns! Oh, I wish I'd bought something now. We're walking up a very steep hill. It's very, very steep, but it's okay, Lucy, you can talk, it's fine. <laughs> oh my God, I think my knees might give out before we get to the top. There's everyone.
Goodbye, hostel room. You were tiny. <laughs> Hey Cody. Cute. So yes, that is this week's vlog. That was my trip to Sweden. This is my insane sunburn because Sweden was hot and we weren't expecting it at all and I got very burnt and it looks worse on camera than it does in person, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, but yes, I will see you in next week's vlog, guys.